Bro, listen, we got Rocco here. It's a little bit warm in Texas. Uh, we just did a video on Instagram. When you got a guy learning and you've watched some of the stuff, you do not want to put him up against a level 9 mutant. And a level 9 mutant is just a dog who's very capable, confident, and even more importantly, sure, because he loves his owner. When you have this type of love between human and owner, if you've taught him to be civil in any way, the funny thing is, <laughs> the dog ain't civil. <laughs> so we use, they use this word civil, thinking he's, oh, he's a good dog. No, that dog will chew your elbow off if I send him that way. You don't want to put Mark at risk for injury. One of the most important parts of doing anything in life. Every coach, if you play sports, wants you to be safe because he need to win, especially if you're an athlete that starts. In this case, Mark, we want to make sure he keeps having good experiences. Yep. A good experience is him not getting bit. <laughs> and if he is being bit on, he's in the right equipment. But a dog like Rocco in a sleeve can get iffy. You want to make sure absorbing him right. You want to make sure Rocco don't think about rebiting. Because if you rebite, I seen him get the back of that <clears throat> Jamarcus' arm in the suit. Because he'll say, ah, I want another one. I want another one. And if he's not really been trained, and Stan kind of just lets him live his life now, too. Yeah, he's, he's retired. He did, he did everything he needed to do. So, so mind you, without like really touching up, he gets a little bit more filthy. Now they went from dirty to filthy. <laughs> filthy nasty. Yeah, so and, and, and Mark, with the dog who's very deliberate, can get hurt people. So Jamarcus is gonna um, put on the sleeve. Stan's gonna send him a few times, just get by stuff. Stan's gonna break down what he was looking for in Jamarcus's approach, because we know what Rocco's gonna do. <laughs> and then the best part about a sleeve, to be clear, is that you can slip it and let the dog win. So after, you know, dog gets on there, such and such, instead of you feeling like you're getting torn to pieces, it's a bar in there, it's a it's a brace in there you literally just fall out of it and the dog take it now you're real safe well, you want to make sure the handler has the leash because oh yeah he is a civil dog he <laughs> slips that he'll drop it and look back at you see so. what i'm saying see what i'm saying so mind you if you don't have the leash which you put a leash on rocco yep. and the dog is getting super motivated he's super motivated he said i got some pressure build up <laughs> you got leash stories too yeah, yeah me and him. <laughs> there, yep. you, there you go so <clears throat> i'm taking the camera now jamar gonna get on the sleeve a little bit we're going to show you what to look for. I'll be walking you through. Oh, my God. This chair is bringing me <laughs> Time to get some new ones, baby. Time to get some new ones, baby. It's one of my favorite seats right here. I like it because you feel safer in it, boy. Watch. Watch it. Watch it. So, get it up. There you go. Eight. So he caught him, people. Rocco's now on the thing. He's a little motivated. He's got it. Stands, get him off the leash. He'll slip, he'll slip it here in a second. I love the handle that they got so you can really get the dog pulled into your chest, make the dog work a little bit. He brought it up to give him a target because you don't want to give a dog like Rocco a free bite. <clears throat> Boom. And there you have it. You saw Marcus absorb it. Just a half second. Yeah. Uh, you, I felt it. Ow. He got you? No, I um, I was telling him, I, was, I think I pivoted it just a little too early. Uh, he's, like, he's like, yeah, just by a half second, because I yeah. even felt it too. And what's the, you pivoted early, what's that do to the dog? Um, like you said, it jams him a little bit, because he's behind. So he wants to put him ideally here, but if he moves too early, his arm's going to be here, which leaves this exposed. Yeah. So you want like a portion of his mouth only got on it, and like half of it was still hanging mm -hmm. off of it. And then he came off, and he went in and got a better bite. Exactly. Mm. So, uh, to show you what civil means, drop that sleeve. Give <laughs> that leash, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it feels like through the suit. Watch. Ready to catch him? No. 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 Boy, no means no. Exactly, no means no. <laughs> so, so civil, hey, down. So civil means he doesn't need the equipment to turn it on. If we were to send this dog, he would go to the carcass and try to give him a tooth. Yeah. You can pick up the sleeve now. Yeah, man. He looked like he looked like the tooth fairy to the dude. Oh, no, so Marcus said, no, I'm good. Oh, bro, you're crazy. <laughs> he just wants to oh. say hi. <laughs> Definitely lose an arm. He just wants to say hi. All right, ready? Yep. Watch. Good boys. Right. Good job. And then 
And one thing you want to think about, if you're ever working a dog, make sure the dog's always facing back to the handler. Okay. So even if you catch him, put him down here, back to the handler. Because if he comes off, bites him in the face, and his back's to me, I don't know. Yeah. I might hear him scream, but <laughs> they scream when we're working the dog. Yeah, yeah. And there you have it, people. Civil, non-civil, uh, catching, playing, placement, safety, all the timing, all these little things that keep this uh, program rolling. And mind you, that's a step-by-step -step process with every person we come in contact with who wants to be a part. Hey, man, I want to come hang out with you and the dogs. I said, man, this is a full-play program, bro. You know how much stuff we got going on in the backyard? We ain't even got to the good spots yet. Yeah, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't hit the flake yet. Exactly. But you know how many places we're trying to go eventually with these dogs? So we're just warming up. Beaches. Exactly, people. So stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Stan, thank you. Mark, always a pleasure. Oh, money. Good job. <laughs>